Good evening, everybody. Um, <clears throat> so I'm feeling a little bit better. I've had a glass of wine. <coughs> and um, I've done a bit of research on the chemo um, that they're offering me. And, um, you know, 18% is, is not a lot. So there's an 82% chance that it won't shrink my tumours. I want everyone to understand, if I'd have just had a hysterectomy and was offered some chemo to kill any extra cells, like, you know, like six or ten sessions, obviously, um, I'd be having it. But it's been made perfectly clear to me that nothing can cure what I have. So any chemo that they offer, offer me is palliative chemo. Which means that it's, excuse me, <coughs> it's chemo um, to keep you alive for as long as possible, which is fine. Um, but if it gives me an extra six months, I'm going to spend that six months lying in bed being sick. So um, I hope that you understand why I don't want to. You know, it's evil stuff. Um, friends and, and, and Dave who saw me ha having the chemo you know they know exactly what I went through uh, and um, it's rough I'm not brave uh, brave would be me having chemo until there was no more chemo to have um, and it still wasn't working that, you know, that, that's, that's brave to me I'm not saying I'm I'm not, um, you know that I'm I'm not braveish, you know. I I want to pick quality over quantity. Um, don't get me wrong; it's come as a bit of a shock today because, apart from that bit of breathlessness, I'm not ill. Uh, I don't look ill, I don't feel ill, uh, I certainly don't look terminally ill. Um, and, it, you know, it's difficult for me finding out today that actually this breathlessness is because of the cancer and not because of any sort of form of infection. Uh, it, it, it's hard to swallow. I can't, you know, I can't, I'm having trouble processing it. Um, to, to, to know that you, you're going to die... Is, is not a nice feeling. Uh, I'm not scared to die. Um, I'm scared to leave my family. Um, so I have these memory books for Dave and Connor that are sort of half finished, half done. I haven't looked at them for about six months. Um, so I'm going to have a look at them in a bit and maybe start them up again. Because... I was adamant that I wasn't going anywhere within 12 months, but now I'm not so sure. Um, so, yes, obviously I'm still devastated, but um, I have calmed down. And um, it's my intention now to definitely cut out sugar. I know I said it before, but it didn't really happen. Um, well, Christmas happened, you know, and there's cake and all sorts. <coughs> so the um, cut out as much sugar diet um, starts um, in the next couple of days when I've eaten all the biscuits. Um, and I'm stepping up the juicing, I'm stepping up the alkaline diet. Um, I'm cutting out red meats and I'm cutting down on dairy. I... I'm still going to take my vitamins, I'm still going to do the honey, I'm still doing the cannabis. What I am going to do, um, on the advice of somebody on a, a Facebook group, is start to vape can cannabis oil. So I'm going to vape CBD oil, the, the legal stuff, alongside my um, illegal stuff. And um, I'm going to look 
to do some lung exercises to try and strengthen my lungs. Um, really terrified now that my lungs are going to collapse. Um, I have no idea what that's like, and um, I don't really want to know. I hope I can help it. But um, I just wanted to thank everybody. I've had loads of messages, loads of support. Uh, it does, you know, it does keep me going. So um, I'd love it if you could carry on sharing the story. Uh, thank you to everybody that has donated. Um, that money is going to be start to be used soon to book some places to stay. Any day now, I know I said it earlier, uh, any day now we'll be able to to give you some news about um, our start dates. Uh, thanks again and I'll speak to you soon.